Hi guys, this is Mr. Kellogg here showing you how to embed your files and documents and movies for 12 Years a Slave and Youth Ledge. Um, so to start out, we're going to go to altocal.wikispaces.com. Uh, you got to make sure that you are signed in to do this. You'll notice we've got our three options at the top. So you want to choose if you're doing your project for 12 Years a Slave, choose that one. If you're doing it for Youth Legislature, choose that one. Once I go in to this, I'm going to want to add a page, a new page. You'll notice that we don't have our options to add a new page because we don't have our menu open. So click on menu and then the plus sign next to pages and files. Put in your page title, add your tags, whatever they may be. <clears throat> and then you're going to create your page. Now if I want to, let's start with the first one being embed a video. All my embedding that I'm going to do is with this widget. So I'm going to hit the widget. If it's a video, I'm going to click video, YouTube. It's going to ask me to put the embed code here. So let's say this is an example. This is a video that I made a while ago. If I scroll down next to the about part right here, if I click share, I can see it has a shortened URL and it's got some option to sh options to share on social media, but I want to click this embed button. Now this will ask me what size I want the video to be. I can choose that. I can enable privacy mode so it's not going to show other videos and I don't want to have suggested videos at the end. So then once that's done, I can copy this. So file, sorry, edit, copy, go back here, edit, paste, save that right there. When I click save, this is going to show that I have the video on if I've done it correctly. So here's my video in the size that I decided that it would be at. Now let's say that instead I want to add something a little bit different. So let's say instead of my video, I'm going to go back and edit this and delete it. Instead of my video, I want to add a PDF file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press widget and I'm going to go to the very bottom and put other HTML. I'm going to again enter an embed code here. This time I need to get it from my PDF. <clears throat> my PDF is going to be uploaded into Drive. I'm going to use this example right here of this pre-Civil War 2014 document. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open it. When it opens, I'm going to have the opportunity to choose embed this file. If I click file, embed this PDF file, it's going to give me an iframe to embed it. So I'm going to copy that. Oops. Press OK. I'm going to go back here, click in the box, paste, save, and save again. Notice this does not autosave. And then it's going to come up with my PDF document. Okay. Now I can change uh, the, the features in terms of where it looks like that by clicking that last button at the top, but you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's say instead of that, I don't want a PDF, but I want to add something different. Um, some of you, let's see, we've got the iMovie, we've got the document. Some of you might have wanted to add a time glider. Um, that also can you can get from your time glider. If we go to that when we log in, We're going to choose sharing. We choose the one that we want to share. And it's this code right here in the middle that we want. So we want to copy that. Go back in. Widget. Other HTML. Paste. Save. And save. 